Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Crack Pack action here on the Deathcraft server. And I am still, still loving my big reactor. Mm, yum, 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 yum. She is doing really well. It's awesome. I forgot to show you, or rather I, I chose not to show you last time, that round the back here, we have a little area which is actually the processing area. Now I um, probably saw some semblance of this during the uh, the making of, as it were. <laughs> Um, but we still have a shit ton of Eulorium in there, it's ridiculous, and it's producing very little um, sort of uh, byproduct, as it were, this cyanite ingot, which I, I don't really know what I can do with, but we can bin it. We have a trash can right there. But today, today I want to show you the other stuff I have been getting on with, um, and we're going to emulate this sort of rail structure that I've built up here. Now, let's just pop up here for a quick scoot around, and that's not the right way around. I have to get up here. Um, there is a proper way up as well, <laughs> by the way, this is just a quick route. So we have this nice railing and this crazy cool little uh, this walkway all the way along which connects to this upper area which is yet to be decorated but uh, at the moment is like my attic space, it's just storing some random boxes of crap and uh, we have more space and room to do other bits with. Oh hello, that's, uh, that's not too cool, let me just take care of that, I didn't realise there was a hole here, um, we'll just grab that block there I think safe cool right so yes uh, bits up here and we will be working on this more later there's definitely a lot of work to do up here and around the area plus I want to automate the production of the Eulorium that I will get through the quarries once uh, everything else is going now upstairs as you know we have our form lab now I have I have been continuing I've upgraded some of these to these impulse item ducts just to speed it along I haven't done all of them yet I've only got about I don't know was that maybe Maybe halfway, maybe 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 a third, two thirds, three quarters, I don't know. But it is working beautifully. All we have is a chest to feed stuff into the um, uh, this thing. What the hell is this called? The alchemical furnace. <laughs> and uh, another chest of coal. And so whenever I need anything, I can literally just pour it in here. Sometimes you end up with byproduct. Like, not only like a multiple of eight, as it were. But I think it's not too bad. So I'm just going to empty these. Just grab that and that. That is cool. We still have plenty of uh, clay jars going that's awesome fantastic so if I should need to cook anything else it will get sorted out so what happens is you throw things in there it gets converted into the aspects and then pipes along and pretty much just sorts itself out really because of the fact that the pipe loops all the way around the bottom of the floor and then comes up there and then becomes looping all the way back round again blimey I've got all the way around to there I didn't realize it actually connected pretty much all of them up um, yeah, it means that the, the uh, essence jars that get made, the vials, files or whatever, uh, do gradually tick their way and trickle their way into their own barrels. And then above that, there's just a jar representing each one. And I've made at least one of everything so that I could label the jars, or two of everything rather, so that every jar could be labelled. But there we go. It works absolutely beautifully. I, it's just grand. I really do like it. So we can just chuck two in there and then boom, that's ready to be used with the infusion and I have been infusing. I have myself the wand at last and I have my um, equal trade. In fact, I have a few other foci as well. Let's have a look. Uh, that's my jetpack. That's what I wanted. So we have um, the fire one, the portable hole, which is what um, Catdog donated to me ages ago, frost and shock, which is pretty cool, and the hole. Oops. I don't want shock right now. Now we've had a few rumbles <laughs> uh, with Brink and whatnot. Equal trade, that's the one I want, thank you. Um, and I used the lightning wand on him quite severely at one point, which is pretty awesome. But right now, what I want, I just want to grab that, plonk you in there. Now we're going to get some of these wireframe factory blocks, just because I think they'll make a good floor. Because what I want to do here, let's quickly just grab that, and we've got access to the top of our generator here, but I don't really want people falling in here because, you know, it's my freaking reactor. Come on. So what I was thinking was we could possibly just build a little walkway around here, like this. Man, this thing's so cool. Oh, this this is a builder's dream. It really is. I love it. So, hmm, I'm wondering if maybe we can just cut that away. We shall see. We shall see. But the plan here is to make the same kind of railing as what we did below. Um, and it shouldn't be too hard, uh, he says, because really it's just going to be going along the side and then we have to place a block down in order to allow us to build upwards. But it's pretty damn cool. So what we need, um, let's place stone just so there's a nice contrast here with the bottom. 
um, yeah, this is going to be it really. This is how I put the stairs, uh, rather the the um, the walkway below together. And it's pretty good stuff. I mean, it's blonk. And once you get these down, yes, yeah, it's always these end ones. I never know what quite to do with this end piece because it's always sort of offset a little bit. But it doesn't matter. It's not that bad, and it looks pretty cool once it's done. So I like it. And it's just you know a rail to stop people from falling to their deaths because we know how clumsy deathcraft players are. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know, I'm gibbering now because I just want to get this done. <laughs> so let me just finish this off and it should look quite nice. And we can still fly over it. I don't think there's any real need to get into the top of the reactors at any point. Not particularly, especially not in this season. I can guarantee that uh, I'll be using big reactors from now on. Now that's pretty damn cool. And there we go, a nice little walkway. Stops anybody from falling in there. We'll have to do something about the walls because they're pretty shocking. But I quite like that. So yeah, oh, let me clear that up. What I want to do is find a nice, damn it, is to find a nice um, <laughs> texture for the floor in here. Now it's thorn crafty, so I'm thinking possibly stone bricks might just do the job, you know. It might just do the job. So yes, I'm going to get on with that, and we shall have a look and see how that turns out in a bit. Oop, nope, wrong one. There we go. Let's have a look. Brick. Yeah, cool. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. Um, <clears throat> so the uh, the wand of equal trade. <gasps> this thing is a builder's dream. Oh, hello, this thing is a builder's dream. Like that. Oh, it just means you don't have to cut stuff out and put stuff back in again. It's all just directly replaceable. Um, so up here, well, I've did a little bit of a nether brick on the floor just for a bit of colour. I think it goes quite well with the zombie green actually, ultimately. And you know, adds just a little bit of little bit of colour. It complements the purpliness and all the rest of it. I think it's a nice contrast. Uh, and then just marbled up everything. I had a ton of marble. Oh, look at that. There's another hole. Just all of this raw marble sitting around, like stacks and stacks and stacks of it. So I was like, oh, well, this is probably the best and most opportune time to use it. Look at that. Dink, dink, dink. Clean. I do love it. Um, and then on top of that, I just realized that you can left click with chisel. And although it does use the durability of the tool up a little bit, god damn it, I had the right one there. Um, it will allow you to rotate through I think are you going to stay on that texture? yeah you should be able to flick your way through all of them now the one I want is miles away but I don't want to destroy this block because I think the crystals will fall ah oh, it's close it's close you bugger us oh there we go so the next one come on oh come on the one after this is thrilling I'm um, you know sorry let's go do another one <laughs> It should just be one, two. That one, and that one. Wow, how did I get to the last time? It's three. <laughs> cool, so one. What? I'm so utterly confused as to what this thing is doing now. Is that the right? That is the right one. Are you just going to make it into the right one? Nearly. Nearly. Well, I don't quite know what, what this is doing. Oh, they're not right. They're not all the right ones. They're all different. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Well, I'll sort that out another time. <laughs> but this will allow me to do the same thing all the way around here using um, this tool, hopefully. I don't know. We shall see. So it's a lot cleaner. It's nice and bright in here. I wanted it nice and light, and I really wanted the uh, the ceiling to be white, so any taint and stuff I could easily see and clear off. It will be good. It will be good. So downstairs... With a little bit of extra work, just a touch of... Uh, I've got to stop doing that. Stop pointing with the chisel. Dang it. Yeah, that's two messed up blocks now. Never mind. Um, put some of these struts in, like uh, the support that we've kind of been throwing throughout the base. Um, randomly around, as it were. Sort of just to continue the theme, as it were. And just replace the walls with this white stuff. Now, it's nothing exciting, but it's a lot cleaner and it looks a lot nicer than just a cave hole. Um, and I want to put something there but I don't know what yet, so we shall see. Right, all of this can go back in here, and then finally, well, finally, I say another thing I want to show you guys, is if you looky-looky in my um, toolbar, we have this puppy, and I haven't named it yet, but ever since um, Cat Dog butchered XB Crafted like an animal in a couple of hits using a rapier, I figured it's about time we get ourselves one. So, I made this puppy, and she's... 
reasonably hardcore. I don't have a name yet, so if anybody can give me a name, that would be awesome. Now, I only made it out of steel and a little bit of paper. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I put the flux, enchant uh, flux enchantment, the flux thingy on it, so that gives it good durability, and it's up to 16 attack damage. Now, I've added two extra levels of modifiers onto it, and I'm probably, actually, you know what? Let's see if I can do that now. I think... Oh, where did I put my nether star? Oh no, don't tell me I've lost it. I thought I had... Oh, there it is. Let's go put the last of these on. And we'll grab ourselves uh, some quartz while we're at it as well. Just to see how much we can throw on there. Okay, so... <laughs> the next secret area. <laughs> In fact, yes. Through here, I have done this as well. This is a new little techie area. It's around the back end of all of the gubbins. I kind of like it. We have another Emmy crafting terminal here. A little secret way out here. Oh, yes, indeed. I like it. People will know about that now, but never mind. Um, and yes, look. Dun, dun, dun. Bum, bum, bum. How the mighty have fallen. Nope. Nope. It's good. It's cool. I made one for true invisibility, and I took it out for a test run um, that I am hoping... You guys will have seen by now if I've got my video orders right. So, yes, that was versus Brink. So down here, this is a room we're going to work on. This is going to be my gun room. And we're going to replace most of this wall with this darker factory block and then create some cabinets and display areas to put all of our guns in. But down here, I built the teeniest little smeltery just because I wanted to get this freaking rapier built. So we just have a magma crucible, um, essentially, with some stone in it. Just keeping this full. It really doesn't have to do much. Ugh. And uh, I also put a resonant energy cell on there because, God knows, it's not going to use much energy doing this. It just sits there literally doing nothing forever. So, down here, what I'm hoping is I've put two extra modifiers on this puppy so far. So if I add the nether star, that adds me another modifier. That's awesome. That is awesome. This could be a, a huge waste of resources, but hey, oops, let's get that. I can do that again. Grab 16 of them. Let's see how far that goes. I don't know. So this is possibly the last modifier I can add to this. So we'll see how much higher we can go with this. What we're looking at. 432. One more. Oh, no. 8. 16. Ah, perfect. There we go. Bang. That should be it. Oh, no, no. We've got a little bit more. A little bit more. Hold on. Um, look, 10 will do. Give me that. I think... Yeah, we can put a couple more. Oh, this is exciting. So what are we going up to now? 10 hearts... And that's it. I think we are full. Yeah, 432. So there we go. That is going to be my rapier. I need a name, people. If you guys can think of uh, could think of a good name for this. So far, I've got like uh, the toothpick of a vengeance. I think was where I was got to with it. The toothpick of vengeance. Um, I, I don't really want to make another one. It's probably not ideal, but it does do a 19 attack damage. So there's 10 hearts per hit, um, and it ignores armor. So yeah. How about you? I'm going to go test this out on a couple of people, I think. That's going to be cool. But down here needs decorating as well, um, obviously, so I shall do some of that. I don't know, really, if I'm going to do much more tinkers than what I have now that I have achieved my rapier. Mm, delicious. So, um, yes, I think that is good. <laughs> I'm very happy with this altogether. Now, let me just get the heck back up here. And I can show you that the suit is a fully operational monster. She's ridiculous. Uh, so I think we can just click, click, click. And I do have a helmet. Ooh, but I don't use... I don't look at it. I don't look at it. I don't show it on my model. There we go. Check him out. Chill him in a power suit. Why the hell not? Because it's fun and games. But it's so, so fast. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing with the stats. But I've literally just sort of bumped them all to the max, as it were. And it's just ridiculous. Look at it. Whee! It's so much fun. It is so much fun. <laughs> right, I'm going to go check the uh, episode length and I shall be right back. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no, there we go. Alrighty, well, you join me in the deep dark. I don't think, uh, I don't think I've shown you this down here before. Brink uh, opened up the portal for us and then Schnixie decorated the portal room at spawn. Uh, which is awesome, so I thought I'd come in and do some quarrying, and you can see I've done two reasonably big chunks of the old uh, of the old ender quarry in here, which is cool, and I've got my witchery circle there, which I used to make a, uh, uh, what's it called, a waystone to get home, eh, I'm distracted, but right now I just want to set up the last of this, and there are a shit ton of mobs around here, but I think, I think we can get away pretty quickly with just doing something like this, so we'll place the chest on the bottom, 
Like that, might as well. We'll put the ender quarry on top. There we go, you dirty little cheeky freaking hit on me. Let's have a look. Analyze the boundary. Yeah, we've got the whole thing. And then finally, all we want to do is pop some power on there. And we're off. There we go. It's actually started doing the quarrying now, so that's freaking sweet. Uh, all I've got to do now is get home. And I'm going to do that over here because I need a couple of seconds for this. Uh, assuming I can find my uh, wooby slippers. Yay, wooby slippers. Right, cool. Let's do this. So I switch these on. It's a cool little witchery item. It's a bit silly, but it's kind of cool. And then you go slash chance. There's no oops place like home. Boom. Shit. Jets, I'm too low on power. <laughs> oh no, I've forgotten to. Uh, I have totally forgotten to recharge. Ooh, oh, this makes things interesting. Hang on, let's see if the witch's hand can get us home. Then, oh boy. Oh, thank God for that. Whew. This might cause me to have to. Oh no, it made it. Ooh, a, a clean teleport. <gasps> How awesome. Right then. Well, that's uh, that's freaking cool. Let's um, <laughs> let's. Go and drop my stuff off now. There's a few things. Oh, come on. What the? No. Oh, oh you freaking stupid. Look, look, it's open. It's open. Open. There we go. No, apparently not. Apparently I cannot get out of my own little hovel. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, in that case, I don't know why I'm even using these keys. I've got myself a freaking wand. Let us do the thing with the thing. Thank you. Right. I'm going to reload. I'll be right back. Okay, open the door. And... Excellent. Good. Right, we're through. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh dear, right back in the base. Good gods, I really need to... Uh, I really need to steal that front door out. That's terrible. That's actually shocking. Right, let's throw some of this crap away. Um, and you... Um, yeah, no, the rest of it's rubbish. Now I've got, I do have sort of a storage area up here, except I can't, how do I get up there now? I do, I can still get up here. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, it's a bit early in the morning for me, I'm, I'm struggling. I had a late night with En Fuego on uh, Childcraft last night. And that was pretty cool, sorting out some stuff and getting the mansion build further organised. So that's cool, right. I think that is everything. Okay, let's get on with things, shall we? Now we made it back. Um, oh yes, oh god, I want to check the quarry. Um, make sure that the the input is okay. What the hell am I doing? Look, let's go down here. Down, come on, down. Oh, I'm such a fail sometimes. There we go. Stroof, right. Quarry. Now this should be kicking through quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, lovely. We're going to get loads and loads of good things. Um, what I don't want to do is chuck all of the gravel away. But I have just emptied my system out of everything. Now, I reckon we're going to save the gravel that we get this time. So, let's drop that off there. That's cool. Get our ores. Uh, we get our gold and everything else. That's brilliant. Okay, that should do. Right. Time to get this wand on the go, I think. Uh, not the... Uh Jet engine, I need to. <laughs> my key configurations are all over the place. Equal trade. That's what we want. Cool. Now, what I want to do is start the downstairs. I had a little bit of a, a think and a move around, and we've got this one long wall along here. And what I'm thinking is pretty much that's the exterior wall here. <laughs> We're right on the edge of the mountain now. Whoop. Let's get the old hover mode on. So, I'm thinking I want to get some cement and um, build out of this wall a little bit so we've got sort of a low end bunker extending out over the water and then possibly a tunnel or a tube into this mountain of some description I'm not sure yet there's scope here for all sorts of fun with this uh, this area I wanted to I still very much want to get an airfield up here I think it's a sort of a long strip along there still where you can take off in that direction so that'd be cool and this bunker will be the first part of joining these two bits of land together I think so that's going to be pretty damn sweet. Um, the question is, the question is, how exactly are we going to do it? Hmm. Just going to have guns along here. I don't want this extending too far out, but I do want it to be enough of a. I think this is probably a good, good line here, actually, as good as any. Let's have a look. So we'll do the interior first, anyhow, assuming that that's going to be opened up over there. So that's cool. That's not cool. <laughs> Let's put you... Oh, there. The thing I haven't decided on, really, is the floor. 
I don't really know what to do for that entirely. So let's, I think, I think a warning strip around everywhere would be kind of cool. So I do, I do like that. <laughs> this is rather groovy. So if we plonk this down and we use the Wand of Awesome, because holy crap, it really is. And then we can just think, think, think. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Absolutely. Yep, I like it, I like it. So, warning, ah, oh, dang, I ran out of blocks. Warning zone, stating that you are entering the danger zone. Let's have a look. And then we want, um, we're in factory. Ooh, cool, blimey. Factos. Get some of them and a few of those. That'll do for now. And we've got the armor blocks as well, which I was wondering, uh, what are they, futuristic? Futur. Futuristic, yeah. We'll grab some of those, and there's a whole ton more there of future plating. Now, I've used the future plating stuff up here for the wall. Oh, good. Oof, I've done something wrong there for a second. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. What would make a reasonable floor, considering that's our ceiling, and that's one of our walls? Hmm. What about the other blocks? Probably something one of these. I think that dark grey will probably do us for the minute for the floor. It's kind of cool. Grab that. And again, we'll just use the left mouse. Let's do this because it just is slightly more accurate than right clicking and letting the game work out what exactly you want to change. This box is, of course, going to have to move. I'll have to get myself a cardboard box to do that. Right. Are you kidding me? I'm out of blocks. Good. Gods, man, this is getting so close. It's it's, it's going to be cool, I think. I think it's going to be cool, because the other thing I wanted to do in the corners um, of this room is uh, for a little bit of accent. I wanted to put these guys in. And like a Sioux. And that will keep things nice and uh, sort of supported looking, which is kind of groovy. Uh, torch there, I think, for now. Yes, yes. And a final thing, just to set the ambience up properly for the time being, is we need ourselves a few more, uh, I think it's from this, yeah, these guys, that's good. Alright, let's take a sample of you, and, what? Oh, I've got the purple shade one, oh blimey, whoops, let's try the darker one, there we go, that's better. <laughs> awesome. Yes, 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 that's good. And just tweak the floor because, oh dear, that's going to get on my nerves. Otherwise, uh, that's all of you. Curses. Perfect. Oh, looking good, looking good. Oh, damn it, what's the last little bit? Why, why, game, why? <laughs> why? Uh, it's the futuristic blocks, isn't it? Yes, I'm being a plum. There we go. Okay, good stuff, right. Definitely looking kind of cooler. Now, what I want to do is see, just quickly, a few last little bits. I want to get, like, um, the saw. We must have a saw in here. Good. Um, and the drying racks, is it? Is it a drying rack or is it just a rack? The thing that you can hang your guns on. Rack. Oh, dear God. Track here, yeah, of course. I was thinking rail. I was like, why well, are those rails showing up? Um, oh, good God, that's it, drying rack, sweet. Got a few of these. Yeah, that's awesome. We've got guns down there as well, so that's all ready to roll. And we picked up our saw, so I wanted to keep this reasonably cool looking, hopefully. We shall see. Yeah, it's going to get awful, awful dark. That's the only problem. Now, we've got enough room for two there. Let's have a look. Um, <laughs> right where the torches are. Oh, hello. Not quite where I wanted it. That's better. Let's give it a U, and that, and one here. So we've got enough room for a few guns, which is nice. What I want to do is I want to replace these torches with a flat light source inside the wall, I think. Okay. Um, let's put a few of these guns up to see how they look. Right, so we've got our G36C. Oof, not bad, not bad. I might have to put something on the back of these, actually, looking at it. Because they're kind of dark against dark. Ah, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Bugeration. Stop trying to shoot it. This is looking quite cool, though. Uh, and we've got the MP5. I'll have to make some more guns. Oh, uh, we'll take a pistol out of there as well. Why not? That's cool. Nice. 
nice, not bad, not bad at all. Let me just grab, um, oh, you son of a bitch. I don't have it. Where's my chisel gun as well? I did not just throw that away, I did not. I did not just throw that away. I did. I'm a plum. Honestly, guys, it's it's, it's early in the morning. Um, I'm half asleep. It's crazy. Do, have I... Oh, my God. I honestly can't see it anymore. What have I done? What have I done? Give me a new chisel. <laughs> Wherever the old one went, I don't care anymore. Maybe it got used up. I don't know. Where did it go? Who knows? Right. Um, all I wanted was, well, with the chisel, I need one block of... None of them. And none of them. Nope. Block from here. Yeah. A little block of that. And then we can just cut this up, I hope. <gasps> yes. Right, so let's see how we can decorate with this. Um, now the guns, none of them are falling over the edge, which is quite cool. I don't know. I thought there were 3D models that sort of slid out left and right. Maybe there's different ones do that. I'm not sure. But we shall see. I just want to see if this does anything for me. I don't know. It's kind of off the cuff. And I think... I think my cuffs are crap. Because that doesn't look so good. Uh, oh, that's not too bad, I suppose. Alright, please excuse all the noise of any traffic you can hear. For some reason, the whole world seems to just be kicking off right now as well. And I'm... I don't think I'll be able to edit it all out. Um, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, let me find, let me get some Lumar going. I just want to try some sort of light, just to see. Inverted light blue, that could be quite nice, I suppose. Uh, inverted light grey, fine, whatever. I just want, I just want something. Oh, really? <coughs> <coughs> God damn it. How do I make light grey dye? Okay, we'll make a few more light grey dye. Sorry, this is a bit of a shambles this morning. Good cards. Uh, do that and that. Honestly, it's, uh, anyhow, six of them. That's cool. We can get three more. Do that. Get them. Now, I want to see what these look like behind the guns. Let's see if this will do anything. Can I actually see? I can. I can take that exact block out. Awesome. Look at that. Working round your hanging guns. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that's interesting. That really does uh, define the weapons quite nicely. Uh, we've got a bit of thing at the top there. Maybe we can... Yeah, that's not bad. We could do that and maybe get a couple of little buttons in at the top. Uh, let's see. Got these tiny, tiny little nubbins. Look. Like... So, covers that up. That's not bad, actually. I quite like that. It's very clear. You can just go quickly go up to it and go, Oh, yes! I've got me gun! I've got me gun! Right. Let me get back on with this. I'm going to check the episode length, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Hello. I got carried away. Um, just building. I haven't even checked the episode length yet, like I said I would. <laughs> just because I went away with stuff. And I put the floor in, obviously, and then I added this extra wall, and then opened this up, and placed concrete all across the roof. And wee, it's super slippery. I forgot, I forgot concrete was so slidey. It's awesome. Uh, supports along here. Now I'm wondering, maybe I'll bring them down underneath and going into the water somehow. I'm not sure. I definitely want to keep these sort of factory blocks going throughout because they are a staple of the base design, as it were. Um, now, I was just wondering about these. Are these going to be too much? God, this is so slippy. Along the, uh, along the top and textured. Actually, that's not too bad. I don't mind that at all. Let's have a look. Could possibly even use the riveted version, you know. Oh, no, oh, oh, no, 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 I like that, I like that. That's quite cool. That is quite cool. And I was thinking maybe if we, uh, if we extend this out a little bit more. Let's have a look quickly. Uh, oh, there we go. Tons more concrete. One, two, three. Bosh, bosh, bosh. And then we leave another gap. Like a so. I'm thinking... We can have a whole little bunch of port windows that we can just look out of as we're running between this uh, one base and the other. I think this is going to be alright, actually. I don't know. I've been wanting to get on with some building for a while now, but I've just been setting all of the stuff up, ready to roll and making sure I've defended and rah, rah, rah. But having hung about with Schnixie a little bit recently, um, 
yeah, he's inspired me to build. Definitely one of the best builders on this server from what I've seen from everybody else so far. Uh, his, uh, his work is pretty damn cool. Alright. Alright, that looks plain and boring, but I will work on it. <laughs> we'll see what I can come up with between episodes. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's going to get exciting now. Uh, let's see, when is this episode out? Probably over the weekend. I'm going to be away at the London Comic Con 2014 in Earl's Court the weekend that this episode shows, or the weekend. I'm not even entirely sure now. You know what? I'm going to edit that. I'll see you guys later. Cheers.